This morning, a show of solidarity. Students and staff at schools all across Long Island will be wearing green to support Farmingdale High School. Last week, a bus carrying the school's marching band rolled off the roadway, killing two adults and critically injuring five students. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us live from Farmingdale with more on this. John. Yeah, Chris and Natalie, good morning to both of you. Well, we still do not know the specifics as to how many schools will actually be partaking in this gesture today. But what is clear, what is evident is that all of Long Island really has been rallying behind Farmingdale during such a difficult time. Look, take a look, though, at your screen. These are two photos. They've been circulating all over social media the last few days, encouraging people everywhere, not just here on Long Island, to wear green today, even if it's just a small ribbon, to show how unified we all can be and uplift the Farmingdale School District during these intense moments of grief. Also, when posting to social media, they're asking people to use the hashtag Daler for a day and hashtag Daler Strong. The town has already been showing its outpouring of support for one another. Green ribbons have been seen up and down the streets, showing Daler Strong as more than just a phrase here. Never lose hope in our ability to lean on each other as we move forward together. I think you're seeing the best of Farmingdale, uh, certainly last week, and you're seeing it again this week. But that's that's Dale Strong. Now, today's gesture comes after just yesterday, there was an emotional wake for 77-year-old Beatrice Ferrari, a retired school teacher who people say was the heart and soul of Farmingdale High School's marching band and died in the bus crash. She was a volunteer chaperone. The community will also be rallying around the family of beloved band leader Gina Pelletieri, who also died in a crash. They have been and they will continue to rally around her. The high school will be closed on Thursday, so students and staff Staff here could attend her funeral. For now, we are live this morning from Farmingdale, Long Island. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.